What up guys, coming at you guys with another video here to talk about uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And he could be facing uh, some trouble with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Now, this is kind of weird because you guys know that he was supposed to fight um, Daniel Jacobs in Nevada. However, he did not take a drug test when Nevada came. And they pretty much were waiting for him. I think it was like two hours or something like that where they waited for him to see the results. And I guess he just denied he was there, but he denied. Uh, later, he was like, all right, you guys could test me now. Or like, I can't remember if it was another day. And then they're just like, yo, that's not how it works. The whole point of VADA is uh, random drug testing where they just show up, uh, take drugs test and see if you're clean, which was kind of sus, to be honest with you. Eddie Hearn later then decided to move the fight to Arizona where there was still some case where like we didn't know if it was going to happen or not. It ended up happening. Um, the backup fight was going to be Rosado and to be honest with you like with the performance that Chavez you he was doing good dude like the first couple rounds he was doing good but then after that you know it seems like he had quit in the stool. Uh, so the back fight was Rosado so did you guys, would you guys have rather seen a Rosado uh, fight Jacobs? I know they got some beef not now, so that's a possible fight that can happen. But, like I said, uh, so it is being reported that the Nevada State Athletic Commission can pursue a disciplinary, disciplinary action against Chavez Jr. And it is, it's uncertain if they will or not, but... If they do, I mean, he kind of brought it on himself, to be honest with you, uh, doing that shady stuff with Vada. But that's just my opinion. Go ahead and comment on the video, like the video, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.